Hi, my name is Mike Coleman. I'm a developer advocate on the LightSail team here at Amazon Web Services. And today I'm going to take you through a video that shows you some of the capabilities of Amazon LightSail. But before we get started, I just wanted to let you know that you don't have to try to do everything at the same time that I'm doing it on the screen. We've got a written guide in the description below that you can go and download. And then after the video, you can go try it all on your own. So let's get started. Today in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can deploy a Drupal instance on the Amazon LightSail. We're going to start here on the LightSail homepage. I'm going to click Create Instance, and the first thing I'm going to do is choose where I want to run my instance. We have regions all across the globe. I'm in Oregon, so I'm going to pick that one because it's closest to me. You should pick a region close to you or your customer. Scrolling down, I'll choose the Drupal blueprint. And then finally, I'll move down and I'll choose my instance size. Now, instance sizes are based on the amount of CPU, the amount of RAM, the amount of storage, disk throughput. Choose one that works for your application. I'm going to go ahead and leave mine at the default. And then finally, all I need to do is name my instance. So I'll type a name in here, and then I'm going to come down and I'm going to click Create Instance. Now, it'll take a few seconds for the instance to come up and running. So we'll pause the video and we'll rejoin it when it's running. So the instance is up and running, and what I want to do first is I want to assign a static IP address. So I'll click on the instance name and then go into networking and click create static IP. I can choose my instance from the dropdown and then give the IP address a name. What I'm doing here is giving it an IP address that won't change when the instance reboots. By default, LightCell instances have dynamic IP addresses assigned to them. So if the instance was to reboot, that IP address might change, and that's not something you want in a production system. So let's go ahead now and go ahead and connect to that instance, load up our website and see how that's looking. So I'll come over here, I'll grab the IP address, and then I'm gonna move into another tab and I'm gonna paste that into my browser. And you can see the Drupal webpage will come up here in just a second. Now, if I need to log into this page, because as you can see here, this is just the normal page. If I want the admin page, I'll go to user login, and it's gonna ask me for a username and password. To get the password, I need to actually connect to the instance through an SSH session. So I'll click connect here, and the password is stored in this file, Bitnami application password. And this password is unique. Every time the instance is created, a new password is generated, but it's always stored under the same file name. So I can grab that password, go back to Drupal, to the username is user, and then I can type the password in and click connect. And you can see here, now I'm in the full Drupal user, admin user interface. And so from here, I can do whatever I need to do with Drupal. So that's it. That's how easy it is to get Drupal up and running on Amazon LightSail. For more information on LightSail, go ahead and visit aws.amazon.com slash LightSail.